Hey guys, in this particular video, I'm going to share with you how you can set up and use the moving average indicator on sieve.io. The process is simple and very easy. So, the link to sieve.io is going to be in the description. So, go ahead and use the link to actually sign up and create an account. Now, I'm going to be using a spot trading chart to actually analyze the market for you. I show you actually how to add the moving average indicator and also how to use the moving average indicator so i'm going to zoom our chart right here and firstly i'm going to be taking off the indicators i have so i have the moving average indicators already i also have the rsi indicator now the chart is very clean and easy so the first thing is to add the indicator so we go right here this is where you can add your indicator and then we are going to select the moving average so the moving average so we have it just right here and then you click on to the moving average indicator now to set up your indicator you have right here you can see setup you go on to settings and this is where you can set up your indicator you can set up the length you can also set up the smoothing line so you can go for smoothing line you have three options you can go for ema and you see you can also see style and visibility just right here so um you can decide to fix in the length so i can say okay i want a length of from 14 is exactly how it works and uh, smoothing line you can also decide okay let this be on 14 and you can set two two moving average so maybe the first one i'm going to set is going to be like 50 and i'm going to set the other one to like 200 so this is the first moving average and so i can decide to add two moving average because that is what i love doing adding like two moving average so moving average again so we have it right here so i will set another one so this one this time i'm going to go on to setting and i'm going to make this one 200 also ema and so as you can see on my chart i have two moving average so another thing i'm going to do is change color so um more like so that it will be very easy for us to style and i'm going to go on to color and i want to make this green so that i can be able to see the difference yep so click on to okay so this is the 50 the green is the 50 and then the 200 is actually the blue so let me just give you a simple example of how this works probably this is not the best chart to use but let me just share with you so to analyze this two moving average is simple now if the 50 moving average moves across so if it's coming from below and move across the 200 which is the blue you buy so right now it is above so if the 50 moves below the 200 you sell that is basically how to analyze moving average so let's see if, you, if we can actually find i don't think we can find this chart has been an upward trend but you can see right here it's very close and the 50 moving average was about to like go down the 200 and this could actually have um changed the trajectory of the chart instead of going upward you should have seen a downward market so let me see if we can find a direction of this market all right take a look at this right here you can see right here that the moving average right here the 50 moving average moves across the 200 line and so what did i say you should do when it moves across it you should what buy and as you can see from this point onward the chart was moving upward and upward and upward and upward and upward and has never come down so by the time this 50% line moves below, like crosses and goes down, you should know that it is time for this market to come down. This is the Bitcoin market. Let's see when that happens. So this actually happened 11th April 2025. And this was when the price of Bitcoin was 80 and there was a change in cost. And since then, the price has not gone down. But so you see how we analyze use moving average to make analysis. I use the 50 moving average and the 200 moving average just to show you exactly how to understand the market using moving average.